What's up everybody, today I wanna to share some really simple Final Fantasy XIV UI and hotbar tips to set you up in Dawn Trail. First up, I'm gonna go over how to create a really simple job switching button. So you can click this, it'll pull up all of your jobs and you can switch over to the one and then close it. So it doesn't clutter up your UI, you don't have to go into your armory. You can put crafters and gatherers on here if you want and it's just really easy to make. And then I wanna share a massive change you can make to your hotbar to reduce the amount of buttons you have to press in combat. By having a rotatable hotbar for single target and group fights, this will really help for learning new classes or for taking on more challenging things like extremes or when you get into savage. So let's get straight into this, starting with the job bar. Okay, so first let's talk about this job button. So what we do here is you have this one button here, you click it and it opens up a list of all your different jobs. So I've got DPS here, I've got tanks here, and then I've got healers here. And if you've got less jobs or more than me unlocked, then you would have different ones on here. But you can put whatever you want, you customize it as much as you want. And say you want to switch to Pictomancer, you click the button and now we're a Pictomancer. Just like that. No, there's nothing on the UI. You want to go back to Black Mage, you just click the button and you can close it whenever you want. So say you need to quickly change job, you just go like this, summoner, close. Like this, like mage, close. As easy as that. And it saves going into here, going into your job list, and then manually equipping a set like that. It saves all of the hassle. And then on top of that, you can also have one for crafters or gatherers. So I've got one here like this. If you wanted, you could have like a DPS button, a healer button, and then a tank button, if that's how you want to do it. So I've made something that's so easy, everyone should be able to do. And I'm going to explain it really, really simply. So first up, escape, hood layout. This is your, your hood, your heads up display of every all your hot bars and where everything goes. And the one that's highlighted will be the one you're playing on. If you've never touched this, you'll probably be playing on HUD 1. I play on 3 just because I've made a few changes in over time. And I've settled on one I like and I play it on 3. If you play on 1, then what we do, you go into HUD layout. And whatever you're playing on, copy your HUD onto the next one. So if you're playing on HUD 1, copy it onto 2. So you go 1 is the base and then 2 is the new. So you just copy everything you've got now onto the next slot. So I played on three, I copied it all onto four. So that's what you wanna do. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we've just copied our entire hood from one to another. And on the second one, the one we just copied over to, we wanna make it an we wanna make it look exactly the same, but it's gonna have the job window open. So that's what we're trying to create now. So if you were on one and you copied over to two, go on to two. I was on three, I copied over to four, I'm gonna go on to four. And what you wanna do, find an empty hotbar. I've got like three down here and two here. So find an empty one, there's loads of empty ones um, and drag it, so say, it's a, say you've got one up here, drag it to where you want this job action window to be. So I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna drag it under my gauges. I like them down here. You can hold shift to like lock them into place. And then once you've found a place for them, click this second uh, this second cog and decide what you want it to look like. I like these little four by three boxes. Uh, I think they look the coolest, but have it however you want it. And then make sure this is clicked so that you can see it. That's what you wanna do. Make sure they're active so you can see them. And then this is gonna be what it's gonna look like when we have our job buttons open. So have it like this. And then all you do is once you've got this open, go into your uh, your gear set list and you have your, your gear here and drag them in. So for example, here I'll take Black Mage off, I'll take Pictomancer off. All you would do is you would drag Black Mage on down there. You would drag Pictomancer on down there and that's it. There's your, there's your, there's your, uh, there's your buttons. And it really is as simple as that. So you won't have like the buttons right now. You won't have any of the buttons so we can ignore them, but you're going to have this now. And then what you can do now is you can go on hood. There's it off. There's it on. And that's it. Just Whenever you want to look at it, you go HUD 3, HUD 4, or you'll go HUD 1, HUD 2, however, wherever you've set them to. Um, but this is what it'll look like when you have the bars open and you can customize them however you want. Okay, so now we have the HUDs working. So if, we go, if I go on 3, there's nothing open. If I go on 4, everything's, everything's there. So now we just want to make the buttons that switch. So you can see here, open it, close it, open it, close it, open it, close it. That's what we want to make. And macros are very confusing, but I'm going to make this. This is the simplest macro you've ever seen. So HUD layout. In, below it is user macros. Now, this is foolproof. This is a foolproof macro. It's one line. <laughs> Go anywhere in here and just click a box. I've clicked 50, 50 here. Forward slash in this box, HUD layout, HUD layout, and then a number. And all this will do is switch to the HUD. So where you were playing originally, let's say one, your new one that you've copied over to with the jobs open would be two. So you put two here. For me, I switch from three to four, so I'll put four here. And then give it an image, give it an icon. I like these little buttons here, but you can have whatever you want. If you're gonna go like melee tank DPS or whatever, you can use them. You could use like uh, these things here, like the sword. So I'll use the sword as an example. So I'll click the sword, and that is how we will open the job window. So if I drag that onto the bar here, and that is, that is all it is. So you click this, and you switch over to HUD 4, where all your buttons are open, and that's it. And there's nothing else to it. And then you want to make a separate one to close it. So you would you want to make a separate one to switch back to your original 
say HUD1 or wherever you were. So go back into macros and then you make one to close it. So I use this one here, which is just HUD layout and then back to the original. So if you're, if you're using one and two, open it would be HUD layout two, close it would be HUD layout one. I have HUD layout four to go to the new one and then HUD layout three to go back to the old one. And that's it. That is literally as easy as that. I'll take this off. But that's, that's all you do. So open, close, open, close. And one thing you can do as well is you can go in your, if we go back to having it open, you can go into your uh, user macros and then the one you set up to close. So HUD layout four to open, HUD layout three to close. You can drag this X into here. So you can have it in the window that's open. So that means that when you open it and you switch to something, you can just close it in the window. Open it, switch, close. Which just makes it a little bit faster, I think. I like it like that. It's nice to have it that easy. But that's it, really. That's that's the, the macro. It is, it is so easy. Honestly, I, I really hope you can follow this because I found some of the things that people were showing very, very, very confusing. And this is as simple as I can find it. Another thing you can do is you can set a separate one. This is this is for a different thing if you want to do it. You can have a separate hood. So hood one I use is for crafting. So I have hood one and I've done it exactly the same as, as four, but it's just got the crafting window. So then what I do is I click this, it opens my crafting window and then I close it. Open, close. So all you got to think, switch to hood four, switch to hood three, switch to hood one, switch to hood three, right? One, three, four, three. One, three, four, three. It's that easy. Yeah, that's the job button. If you've got any questions on that, let me know down below. I'll try my best to answer. And if you have, uh, if you want to have more of a, a direct one-to-one -one or a bit more troubleshooting, or you want to try something a bit more advanced and you've got questions, I'll link my Discord down below. We've got a lot of fun. I found these people in there. They've been playing the game for years. It can help. So yeah, that's there. But next, let's talk about the the, the combat UI tip. This is, this is a huge one. I've only changed this recently and it is a game changer. So what I'm going to show you now is as we go into Dawn Trail, Square Enix are simplifying a lot of the jobs and they're making a lot of the jobs more, um, I don't say easy, but similar. Lots of the jobs have extremely similar things like a one, two, three combo, a two minute cooldown, um, a, an AOE rotation and a, a single target rotation. And with that, we can now make a really good uh, thing with our hotbars where we can switch. So using Black Mage as an example, every single button in this little box here, these 10 buttons here, pretty much all of them are single target. Fire, 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 ice, 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 thunder, blah, blah, blah. Pretty much everything here is a single target button, which means if you were in a in a extreme, you would be using them all. Whereas if you're in like a dungeon where you're fighting three things at a time or five things at a time, you won't use a single one of these pretty much. You won't use pretty much any of these buttons, which means they would all just be on your bar somewhere, not getting used. Alternatively, if I press this, every single button here is AOE. AOE fire, AOE ice, AOE ice, AOE thunder. They're all just AOE buttons. So if we're in a dungeon again and we're doing big groups of stuff, we want all of these buttons. And then if you go into like an extreme or you're doing like a boss or something like that, all of these buttons again would be useless and you wouldn't use any of them. So they'd just be cluttering up your bar. So what, what I do is I have this, this bar that just changes. It just changes. Single target, AOE, single target, AOE. And I've got two buttons on my mouse that I just flick between. So I'm going to show you how to set that up because it clears up so much on your bar. And you can see here, all of the other stuff around it is fixed. Nothing nothing else changes. So all of these bars don't change. And these are things that would you use all the time. So like ley lines, triple cast, um, stuff like that. Stuff that you would always have on your bar, like swift cast. Things that you would always want to have somewhere on both a single target and an AOE bar. And if I change, like that works on that works on everything. If I go on like white mage, this is, this is to heal. These are all... Pretty much single target heals, cure, cure two, glare, regen. And then if we switch, here's the AOE heals, medica, medica two, um, holy three. So if you're in a dungeon or you want to do a, so you want to do a big party heal, you do medica and then you want to go heal a tank, regen. So you can just flick between so easy that you can just really condense down your bar to a point where it's not clutter and you, you can learn new things faster. So when you're learning something like Pictomancer, you can condense it. There's pretty much everything at 93, all really, really tightened down. So yeah, let's talk about how to make that. Okay, so to set this up, you want to have your, your hotbar set up in a way where only one changes. There's only one that we're flicking between. Everything else stays the same. So if I go on my hood layout, I have hotbar one. This is the one that changes. It's a six by two grid, and this is what we change. Everything else stays the same. Three doesn't change, seven doesn't change, five and six don't change. One is the one that changes. So set up everything like normal um, for stuff that you would use in AOE or single target, like 
everything that isn't a single target damage pull out and put it in here and then in this box here just put in everything that is a single target only ability that you wouldn't use in an aoe position so set that up like that and then when you're happy with that and all your aoe stuff is just not on your hot bars that's like half the job done and now what you want to do is you want to find a second hot bar i like hot bar two and if we if we go into hot bar two and we press show this is where you put all your aoe stuff so you can see here if i if i save this you can see here i've got single target hotbar, AOE hotbar, and I just have it hidden. And then this is where we put all our AOE. So you can see they're not on the hotbar. They're not on the, the normal hotbar. So you can see single target damage, everything else, and then our AOEs are just stuffed on hotbar two up here. And then all we're doing really is we're pressing this button and we flick to this. That's what we do. So we cast all our AOEs and then we flick back to our single target. And that's it. So once you've set them up like that, we can hide this again now. So if I hide it, and we can still flick. AoE, single target. AoE, single target. It's that easy. That, that's literally all we're doing. And then you just want to make a, a keybind to flick between the two. So if you go into uh, keybinds, escape keybind, and you go into system, and then you scroll down, you can have a, a switch to the hotbar which you're using. So if you already have something on two and you don't want to mess up hotbar two because you've got it how you want it and it's like comfortable, and you're not using like hotbar seven, Use it as seven. So I have like the button on the side of my mouse. Maybe you could have like middle mouse button, you know, the scroll thing. Maybe you've got like um, a button on your keyboard that you don't use like F1 or I don't know, comma or I don't, something you don't use to flick, something comfortable where your hand goes like F or something. You could use those to flick. So say your single target is on hot bar one. I have that as my like hot mouse button. And then say your AOE is on hot bar two. You have that as your top button. And then all you do, I click those buttons. Boop, 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 just like that. And then I'll quickly show you if we're in a fight. So say you're say you're in a AOE fight, you you flick to the AOE and we start casting. We do this, we we drop the ley lines, we do triple cast, and we just start doing a AOE rotation. And then say there's one thing left, flick back to a single target. And then you do single target abilities. Flick back to AOE and do AOE abilities. And that's it. But yeah, that's it. That's it for me. Um, I hope this has helped. Again, any questions, let me know down below. If you want to come ask more complicated stuff, Got Discord. I also stream three or four nights a week over on Twitch. You can come hang out, watch us do the dungeons and see this in action on different classes or ask some specific questions that you want to you know, see me do it live. You can you can ask and I'll show you how to do something uh, or we'll go through something in more detail. But yeah, I hope it helps. If it does, do consider subscribing to the channel. I try to make a lot of guides and helpful videos like this. Um, that's it really. Uh, nothing else to say. Take care. Thank you for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one.